This is part two of me explaining every single play, this time on a pretty complicated hero actually, Millhouse. So I'll try my best and hope you enjoy. Okay, here elementals are pretty good with Millhouse, demons are pretty good with Millhouse because Maltras are and Wraith. So I'll try him, even though I would say this meta is horrible for Millhouse with spells. Because now, because the perks of Millhouse was you, you get to play efficiently while everyone doesn't. But now everyone gets to play efficiently. So. Does, the, does the music even work? You're not going to want to buy this banana because you're going to be strong enough without it. So it's kind of minus one gold. Oh, uh, I didn't position around this. Usually you should put your 2 1 first. Uh, Anomaly is fine. Front Break is kind of free. Because I'm definitely keep it for 3 turns. So yeah, I'm going to freeze. Alright, I'm going to double buy. Anomaly is plus 1 gold on this hero. And typically, this is the curve you'll, you want to play on Millhouse. Sorry, I'm just cold. <laughs> Which is why I'm shivering like sometimes, but I pop, I turn on the heater. Um, level coin makes the most sense. And next thing you just triple by. So you don't want to roll early game, and this is no exception. Rolling here, like let's say you roll into two good units, and then you just have to buy one and freeze. I'd rather just save the free roll for later. You really need to roll on 3 or 4. This shop is kind of trash. But... Okay, so Barnstormer is good because I want to go Ellie's anyways. Like, I, I pretty much have to semi-force Ellie's. Sally is obviously good. Probably by the Snail. I think you actually level here. I think it makes sense. I just don't like the fact that I'm so weak on Millhouse. Like, Millhouse is a tempo hero. Like, I'm not really supposed to be weak these turns. Okay, it's good to know that I wasn't beating this anyway. <laughs> good to know. Okay, I need to stabilize very soon. Definitely not low into 4. I have to free roll to help me. I would rather roll on 3 than 2. Oh, okay, Wraith is huge. Chef Choice is free. Double Dreadbeards. Honestly, pretty good. Uh, these are pretty good turn 5. Uh, do I even roll now? I kind of need to replace these two units with better units. So next time I could level and buy two as well. Usually you want Pirates in because Peggy is a good out, but there's no Peggy. Wraith is huge. Double Dreadbeard is interesting. Dude, I don't think there's a point rolling again. Because if you roll again, you just double sell by and it's like a minor improvement. Double Dreadbeard is kind of good because... I mean, Dreadbeard is just a good unit on turn 5. Any economy unit on turn 5 on tier 3 is just going to be good. Does... Deal one damage to yourself for one gold is generally worth it. Uh, this is a freaking tempo hero and I'm still losing every fight. It feels really bad. It feels really bad. There's a triple. I might actually have to buy the swing bigger. The reasoning being... I... Pretty caught, like I need to stay above 16. If I lose this next fight, my position is so bad. So I'm gonna buy it to stay above 16. I know I, I previously said to not buy it, but this situation I'm kind of desperate. It's definitely a Sandstone Drake, it's not even close. Sandstone Drake's really good on this hero because I'm obviously gonna be cycling a lot. There's a Soul Rinder. Oh, I forgot. Okay, to be honest, like to be completely honest, I forgot about the Dreadbeards, to be completely honest. I'm just going to double buy here. Double buy seems fine. 
Uh, but I found Soul Rinder, so I stay above 15. I, I actually need to stay above 15. So what do I use this on? This thing, how many attack? Like, I probably should use on this or this. Maybe. This should have enough attack to kill stuff. You just want to make stuff have enough attack to kill stuff. I'll probably sell the Dreadbeards if I don't triple them. Okay, bro. Really? You can just get in a single value trade. If I lose this fight, that's extremely bad. Okay. There's some justice. So this is going to be plus money. This is going to be free. I think this is always out. Uh, I could choose to buy this with the Bazaar Dealer. Uh, let's go for something a little bit better. Remember, every elemental is going to be free on this spot. I'm not playing demons. Okay, Wraith, Elise. I definitely need to buy both. Alright, this game is a bit complicated. I didn't really talk about why I'm not demons in the moment and I feel like I should talk about it, so I'm just going to here. Uh, basically, remember when I said I need to semi-force Ellie's on this hero? It's kind of a hero-specific thing, but it's kind of game knowledge to just know that elementals on Millhouse are just so much higher cap than everything else. So when you just have that Wraith, you're actually supposed to just commit elementals and kind of force it. And demons, I'm not saying demons are bad, I'm just saying elementals are higher cap. The other thing I'm surprised I didn't talk about is that two Wraiths actually work on Millhouse. That's why I'm both on the board and it discounts my roll by two. I probably just hold this and then I want to hold the Bazaar Dealer one more turn. Okay, you buy the least because you're very like every Ellie is a free roll. So you have infinite free rolls and then this can give you Master of Realities. And then these two demon stuff are out next. It's never a demon game. Maybe at least plus one gold. Okay, I'm sorry. So now I'm just... Um... Oh shit. Okay. Can I not lose? Oh, I think I lost. Oh fuck, that's so bad. I need armor now. No, armor doesn't even... That's so bad. Okay, now I actually have to just win out. Okay, I can win out. I'm gonna buy this because uh, it's a lot of stats for one gold. I can't level, not not above, not not below damage cap. And also, I I can improve a lot on this tavern tier still, especially if I hit brand. Uh, this is the oh, actually the other one was better. I could find pants. Malchazar is great. Okay, mill houses just you just have to see a lot of cards. Uh genie, I guess. You just have to see a lot of cards. Man, these shops kinda stink. I forgot I did. Oh that's a golden. Okay, I need to go for that. Uh I guess you just sell Soul Rinder here. Keep the genie. I'm going for Sandstone Drake Master Realities. So I'm just gonna I'm even gonna freeze this at least. I'm just gonna farm five drops. Cause like the only thing I really need are five drops with this setup. So I'm just gonna roll on four, triple into fives. Miss playing girl. Guys, I missed a lot of things. I'm playing Millhouse. Okay, so I'm buying every Ellie. I'm buying every Battle Cry, or at least every relevant Battle Cry. I'm buying every Monkey. Like, it's just an easy win if I'm above cap. Without being above cap, my my situation like I could just die to Galilux when I face him. But honestly, I could also beat Galilux because my setup is also extremely good. So you sell the genies, you don't need them anymore. And you just roll on four. So on the soul rewinders, kept W. I should buy Oozling for sure. Oozling has a ton of stats. Garbage. Every LA.
Turns out every alley is not that many alleys. <laughs> Garbage. Dude, what the fuck? Pants are fine. Okay. Dude, it's not even that I'm missing. Like, there's Murzon, Draxath, there's stuff like that too. Like, this is just really bad. And I'm not even getting Ellie's in, in my shop. Oh my god, this is incredibly low roll. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is so low roll. Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna assume I don't die to this. I sold the Maddors. I know Glow Maddor is good, but I can't play Greedy at 10 HP. If I was at 16 HP, I could I could play Greedy, but not at 10. I could also just play Greedy against Ghost if I get it. That's really bad. That means Galarix might have gone Ghost. Also, where are the Ellie's? I just have to use that. This is kind of free. Yeah, at least it's the Nelly. Like, oh my god, dang. Okay, now we're cooking. Not really, we're still not cooking, like, we're still not cooking. Okay, well, at least we got something. Okay, we got a card, let's go. Okay, Sandstone Drake Master of Realities for the 10th time. Nope, that's okay. It's okay, we'll get it the 11th time, that's okay. We'll get it the 11th time. Shell Collector, Azerite. We will get it the 11th time. Let's see it. It's okay, we'll get it the 12th time. We'll get it the 12th time, all good. Okay, nice. Uh, I don't think I have time. Holy shit, yes! That's what we call sticking to the game plan. <laughs> okay, now I have to think about what to cut. Probably, uh, probably Bran. I think it's Bran. I think Bran's the worst unit here. Yeah, Bran has to be the worst unit here. Uh, I can level now. Uh, especially because I can hit Bran's blessing. Like, all of- my whole board is better than Bran. Do I have to explain it? Or can I just focus on my turn? Okay, I guess post-game analysis chief will have to explain this one then. Uh, basically, Elise allows me to get- Elise is my only way to get Rock Rock, and I would rather play a Rock Rock over Bran. So, I'm just, like, keeping the Elise until I hit a Rock Rock, and then probably gonna sell the Elise and play the Rock Rock for the best scaling. Uh, typically you don't like that triple, so I'm not gonna go for it. That's because you're kind of playing into the Master Reality, so two Sandstone Drake scales more than one. Golden Touch is really good on Mail House, actually. Drakari. Drakari is great. 
Oh, I just golden Drakari here. Oh, that's a sick play. I'm glad I took the golden touch. Because it's really good on Mail House because it's so easy to force. It's so easy. Okay. Honestly, with this setup, I literally might outscale um, Gallywix. Is there a uh, Murgle? There's no Murgle. That's really good. Really good news. Okay. Holy shit. Give me the least monkeys and then I'm out, out of this. Okay. Very nice. I'm just gonna play sh because, you know. Oh, that could be elemental surprise. I should stop doing that. Okay. So next up is Wolf Smuggler, I think. If I was NA, I'd be a, a lot bigger, but I should still be really big. 600! 600! The game plan was always Elise into 5 drops, into Sandstone, Master, Wall Smuggler. And I committed. Alright, against Galawix, I need a couple of pans. I need Golden Bramble. I'm down to su actually I should go for surprise so I don't have to sell the wolf smuggler. I should go for surprise and I'll try to end on another sandstone drink. Okay. No surprise. No surprise. Okay, I, I have to sell this. Okay, I, I still need to focus up. It, it's not over. It's not over. It, it's actually not over at all. <sighs> Especially with this EU lag. Oh, go on Mador. Oh, go on Bramble Witch. Oh, you definitely go go on Bramble Witch. Okay, that's pretty good. Golden Bramble Witch and Golden Mador are two of the best ending units in the game currently against your average staff board. So if you're ever in an infinite position, try to look out for these. <sighs> Another Bramble Witch. I could play that over Wraith, but also I need a Taunt. Oh, I need a Taunt of Shikari. Thank you. Oh, that's a couple of taunts. That's really good. And Surf and Surf. Okay, I'm just gonna cycle everything. I have the Wraith. I'm just gonna taunt this. Untaunt this. I'm gonna Surf a couple of things. Let me see. Ah. I don't like this Bramble into Bramble. Usually, this this isn't that good against Mador and Divine Shield Taunt. So usually you want to do Bramble into Sandstone to Bramble. Uh, it's okay, because he has that. Okay, good shit. Okay, I won! Let's go! EU lag can be Gallywix anyways. Bramble attacks again. Nice. Holy shit, what a good game.